Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we'll start making the tic tac toe project. So first of all, let's open the IDLE, which is a Python cell. So after just opening this cell, go to this file, create the new file in order to create this script. And you know, first is to save this file. So let me say tic tac toe game here. And just save it as tic tac toe in the project and let's save this down so uh, let's define the main function first so everything every move of the player or every program start with the main so we'll just define the main over here and first of all let's print that i'll say to the user that welcome to tic tac to a game this must be tic tac to a game here and after that what you're gonna do is we'll just see here that is a random so first of all just import the random module over here so i'll say import me random module and you know how to import any module that is using this import keyword so next is to just call this seed which is the function of this random module so it is basically to initialize a random number generator and if you want to learn more about this seed function then you can just hover to this help section and go to this python docs and in the right hand corner you get something that is a module here go in r for the random and go in this random and you see the first function over here would be seed so this is the seed function and it will initialize the random number generator so let's get back into here and the next thing what you're gonna do is we'll just create the main loop for our game and this is our main loop so first of all we'll just reset the board so basically we'll make a board for the game first so first of all let me say reset the board here so in order to just make an element to the board i'll just define a variable that is the word variable and it should be empty list over here and let me say this and it should be multiplied by 10 it should be multiplied by 10 so next thing what you're gonna do is we'll just assign the number that is to this board so i'll say for i in range and there should be only the nine box because we are playing with the tic-tac-toe and if you have ever played the tic-tac-toe game then you could observe that the tic-tac-toe game has this layout and we have something that is a nine boxes to play in the tic tac toy so let me just draw this so this will be our box which will be named from one two three and four in this will be five six and similarly seven eight and last one will be nine over here so this will be the number assigned by this loop over here so let's get back here again so in this range what you're going to do is we'll just start from nine and into zero and it should be minus one this step so basically what we have created here is a number and the number would be nine and eight and seven six five four three two one and not zero because this is the exclusion position so number won't be zero so this basically range function will create the list of a number that will be from nine to one and the step here is minus one that means there will be a reduction so nine would be eight in the next step and it would be seven in the next step so next thing is to just assign this to the board so let me say the board here and this board of I that is the ith element and should be yes tr of i that means the element so it should be i that means i here is a nine eight seven so it is assigned to the board so next thing what you can do here is we'll just make a board function here so first of all we'll just make a draw board function in order to make the board so let me define that here and i'll say just draw the board function so let me just go over here and this will take a board which will just surrender here and this function that is a draw board function basically print out the board that it is passed so here is a board that is passed so it will just print out that board so in order to just print out that board board is a basically a list of a 10 string that is represented by the board and we ignore that index zero so that means we'll just print now and the print would be 
like this and let me just go over here and let me say let me just give more space over here and it would be board first of all that would be here seven eight nine so let me go here and say seven over here that is the seventh element which is be basically seven that means in our case in the board we'll have something that is this board and instead of just assigning one two three over here what we'll do is we'll just assign one here two here and three here and it would be four five six and level seven eight and nine so this will be the number assignment to our board so let's do this here so next is the slash so basically we'll just put this slash over here so just put this slash over here and let's assign it here and just add the board again that would be eight here and next is to just put again a slash or a bar over here and that would be like this just put this bar and it would be board and it would be nine over here so after this we'll just print now again the second row for the fourth fifth and sixth so let's print that so before that let's us just distinguish between this row and this row by just dot dot, dot. so instead of dot, dot dot we'll just put this so let me just do this and let's go down again in order to just print the another row so let me just grab this one here just copy it and paste it over here instead of board 7 it would be board 4 and here would be board 5 and this would be board 6 so let's get down over here again and you could just copy this down and print over here it should be over here and the next one is the third row and the last row so let's make that two over here and it has element that is one first and two and the last is three over here so we have finishes this draw word function two so let's go back here in this main and let's see how we can call this board here so after this for is completed let's call this draw board function now so draw board function can be called now with the board so I'll just say draw me a board and it should be the board should be passed over here which is created here and this should be passed in this board so let's save this down first and see what it really looks like so before running this piece of a code what we have to just put here is we have to just put a name equal main first in order to just run over here and if it is a main equal name is equal main so if it is the case that means we'll just call this main function over here so this is the function is that is to be curled when we just press here 5 or we just go in this run and press this run module then the only the function that is going to call is main function so main function will handle all the events of our game so let's save this down first and see how the output will look like so you could see that it hasn't stopped or you could see something that is element was there but it couldn't stop because the loop is running continuously loop is running continuously here because this element was assigned to the board and board was created continuously so we'll handle that in the next lecture so see you in the next